Hi guys, it's uh, Tim from Cradleys, and today we're going to show you five of our workshop tools. Hi guys, I'm Tim from Cradleys. Um, I make videos about Corel Draw, Illustrator, uh, Inkscape, um, Fusion 360, uh, um, OpenSCAD, um, anything really, anything that just makes uh, files into for ready for laser engraving, for sublimation, or even 3D printing. Uh, so there you go. Hi guys, so we, um, we're going to show five of our uh, machines that we have here today. Um, you can see one of them is already over there. Uh, what we're going to do is, um, you'll see these different machines, so you'll see what types of videos we can make in the future of um, what things that we can make. So um, one of them is obviously with the fiber laser, you can see what we make with those, and then we'll move on to the other machines. Stay tuned. Okay guys, here's our, our first machine. Um, this one here's the one that you've already been seeing over there in the corner, and it's a fiber laser. So this one here's um, actually laser engraves onto steel and um, aluminium and things like that. Um, what I've done is I've actually 3D printed a little chuck for it, so that way I can laser engrave um, rings and things like that. So that can go in under there, and then that just rotates and um, to laser engrave that. And I've also make up different jigs over here. So I've made up a little table here so I can leave that format there to where I, where I need it for um, parts that I'll do that way. And then this one is just a flat table. I can put it on that way. So it's tool number one. Okay, so here's our tool number two, and uh, it's our CO2 laser. So this is the one that we um, had started the whole business with, and this is our, um, this one's my little baby. Uh, I've been using this one for quite a few years now, um, so since uh, 2011. Uh, so we just got um, just a 457 by 305 bed that we can um laser etch onto and it uh, it cuts out things like with the the wood and um glass oh, well it doesn't cut glass but it engraves into glass and um cuts like leather and things like that um so there's tool number two a co2 laser Okay, so tool number three, we've got our Epson printer. Um, this one here uh, does all the normal photo prints, um, canvas prints, um, just basically normal high quality photos is what this one prints onto. Um, it's got some really nice inks in there and um, yeah, so these ones are mainly based for images. Tool number three. Thanks guys for watching this far and make sure you um, stay to the end because uh, I'm pretty sure you're already guessing it, but you'll know what our number five printer is. Okay, our uh, machine number four is uh, our sublimation printer. Uh, what this one here does is prints onto things. So it prints onto um, sheets of aluminium, it prints onto uh, phone cases, uh, onto jewelry, onto t-shirts and like hats and dongs and um, we can just, it's like a transfer printer. So it'll, um, using a heat press, um, will transfer the, the whatever this one here prints onto some sort of substrate. So machine number four, thank you. Okay, there you go, a number five. Uh, it's a th our 3D printer. It's, uh, we've had it for quite a few years now, as you can tell, it's in the old Ultimaker number two. Um, so 
obviously, you know what, you, what we do in this one? We 3D print. So, making little plastic um, plastic parts and uh, like um, watch cases or um, little tools like to, the socket to change the tips in here. Um, we make all sorts of things in here. Um, so, yeah, 3D printing is pretty cool though. But number five. There we go, five tools from out of our workshop. Um, tools that'll, that we can um, help show you how to use, uh, um, show you different things that we can make on them. And um, hopefully we get a few more tutorials uh, in the future that's going to um, hopefully be things that will be interest of you. So make sure you do subscribe um, if you haven't already. Uh, hit the bell icon to make sure that you get notifications of, of any more of these videos that we make um, using any of these machines. And um, Put some comments down below uh, if you like this video, um, if you've got something to say about it, um, if you've got any other suggestions or, or um, things that you want us to be able to make. So, catch you on the next one.